Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster, and today we're going to be talking about some recent Black Series reveals, and uh, one reveal in particular that I think is really, really amazing and is super outstanding, but because of it, it brings up some other problems in the line that I do want to talk about. Real quick though, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe, because we are doing a Black Series giveaway. We're giving away this Mando build -up pack at 7 thousand subscribers you actually do have to be subbed to the channel to enter and we're doing a like timed giveaway as well if we are able to hit 7,000 by May 11th I'm sorry May 10th if we are able to hit 7,000 by May 10th I will also include this Mandalorian Ahsoka just kind of as a bonus I think that uh, we have a month to hit that goal and if we are able to hit it in that time that would be absolutely amazing so I did include this incentive just to give back to you guys because like I said that is an absolutely huge milestone and if we are able to hit that in a month it would be incredible but like I said if we don't hit that in a month that will not be included in the giveaway anyway though like I said you do have to be sub to the channel so make sure you hit that sub button and on to the video so last week at Hasbro's live stream, they did announce the Sergeant Krell figure. I do believe I pronounced his name right. I do apologize if I did pronounce it wrong, though. They announced it as part of the Lucasfilm publishing line. This line was introduced back last year and uh, is basically just some different characters from popular Star Wars comic books, which I think is an awesome line. But the line became pretty notorious for just being a reuse repack line. With a prime example in front of you, this Darth Maul here, which is an amazing figure, but it just reuses the original Darth Maul legs and then the Knight Brother body. So, like I said, pretty just mishmash of a figure. It's mainly reuse. But of course, other figures in line were a lot of reuse as well, with Connor Jax, which is also, I guess, not Connor Jax. But they got his name wrong. I don't know his uh, his actual name. I believe it's like Kirk. Kirkanos or something like that. I do apologize, like I said, if I got his name wrong. I'm not super familiar with these comics, but uh, this one is just mainly reuse of the Imperial uh, Royal Guard. We have Jackson, which does have a few new molds with, of course, the helmet and then the large, like, shoulder pad piece, but most of him is also reuse with uh, reuse of the... Uh, like X-Wing Luke body, which a lot of people didn't know, but it is actually mainly reused with just a few extra pieces added on. There, of course, was also Luke Skywalker here, which was basically just a repaint of Dagobah Luke. There is really no new molds in this figure at all. And so, yeah, this, this line became pretty iconic for just being a reuse line. And then Hasbro went ahead and announced the black chrysanthemum figure and that's whenever this line really got a lot of hate just because they reused the Chewbacca body and even even if you're basing it off the comics and not off Book of Boba Fett, Black Santa is a very big, bulky Wookiee, and the Chewbacca body is a very skinny, slim Wookiee, and it just didn't look right. It was it was not very good and a lot it, it got a lot of hate because of it and that's whenever it really started getting known as the reuse line and the cheap repaint line where Hasbro is just going to make as many cheap repaints as possible to get their money's worth. So Yak Face did actually rumor that we'd be getting three more at this Fan First Wednesday live stream and most of us just assumed that all of these figures are going to be cheap easy repaints. Especially the uh, Sergeant Krell figure, which was a Stormtrooper with a lightsaber. So everybody just assumed that they were just going to repack a Stormtrooper with a pauldron and a lightsaber, and they're going to call it good. And that's pretty much what everybody assumed. We didn't think we would get a new body for this guy at all, and we were wrong. As we revealed this figure right here, and if you guys didn't know, this figure has a ton of new molds on it. It has a brand new torso mold, which does include a jetpack on the back. It also does, of course, include new molds for the straps on the arms, uh, mainly the upper arm, the forearm, and then also includes new, brand new molds for the straps on the leg. But another thing that people didn't know is the abdomen area is a brand new mold, and the belt is a brand new mold. This belt is brand new as it does include a little, uh, like, a gun pouch on the back as well. Some people say this is just the old Stormtrooper belt, but it is not. If you compare the two, this is the new Stormtrooper belt with that added piece on, which means it is a brand new belt as well. 
Hasbro went above and beyond and included a ton of brand new molds for this figure, which is incredible. I'm really glad I decided to do that because this figure is one that really needed it. I think a easy repaint could have got the job done, but it just doesn't fit that same character as these new molds do, and I'm really, really happy Hasbro decided to do that. So, like I said, this was absolutely incredible, and I'm not bashing on this figure at all. It's something else that I'm bashing on, and you'll hear that in just a second. And uh, that is actually the new Commando body, which uh, you guys are probably guessing from the title and thumbnail, and of course the boss figure, which has been in front of you for most of this video. But yeah, I'm ba I'm bashing on this boss body. I'm a huge fan. I, I do want to like say I want to come out and say that I'm a huge fan of the boss figure. I pre-ordered all of the commandos that were announced, and honestly, I'm just really happy we got it. But like I said, it, it's hard not to see all the flaws that this boss body have, considering that it's just on the reuse of the hunter body, which is just incredibly inaccurate to the game. But to me, it just baffles me that Hasbro is willing to make a brand new mold for Sergeant Krell, which is a figure I had never even heard of, or a character I've never even heard of until this figure was announced. And I know a lot of people felt the same way. Like, obviously, it's super cool. It's a Stormtrooper with a lightsaber, but it's not a super well-known figure. Obviously, the Republic Commandos are not as well-known either, just because it is from an early 2000s video game. But they did make an appearance in the Clone Wars, and of course, the Clone Wars and Bad Batch made the Commandos pretty popular. And uh, I think it's safe to say that the Commandos are much more popular than Sergeant Krell. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I am 95% sure that they are more popular. And so to me, it just really baffles me that they decided to go ahead and make a new mold for Sergeant Krell, but didn't make a new mold for this Commando. And mainly when I say new mold, I'm looking at the hunter body, because obviously they made a new mold for the helmet for Boss, and they made a new mold for the helmet for Fixer, and his backpack for Fixer as well. But I'm mainly looking at the torso and uh, arms, pretty much, because the legs are pretty solid. They're not perfect, but they get the job done good enough. But I'm looking at the torso. The torso is incredibly inaccurate. It is too slim, it's too small, and it has... Uh, extra piece of armor at the top where it should have like an undersuit area and so his armor just looks inaccurate and uh, it's one of those things like why didn't they just make a new torso mold for this figure as it would have been much more accurate but not even looking at the torso it's all the extra add-on pieces that this uh, stormtrooper got as well he got a brand new belt piece he got a brand new like thigh strap and then two brand new arm straps and it's one of those things where like you couldn't have made maybe a new forearm mold to account for the elbow pad on boss because if you didn't know the commandos have elbow pads as uh, the figures don't have elbow pads which is a little weird but it's a decently sized detail couldn't have made a new mold for the hand to include the retractable knife that would have been a super cool uh, feature, but they didn't do that either. I think the biggest thing for me is uh, with this newest Sev reveal. I absolutely love Sev. He's my favorite member of Delta Squad. And uh, they didn't include a brand new mold for the shoulder uh, like armor piece. In the game, Sev has this... Um, I don't want to call it like a triangle looking piece, but it's kind of a triangle looking piece that is on his shoulder pad. Nothing special, it doesn't really do anything, but it makes the armor look more unique, and I really like that about his armor. I Obviously the paint is one thing, but the different molds on his armor is another, and uh, they didn't include that with this figure. But yet yeah, they decided to make three or four brand new molds for this random Stormtrooper. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the random Stormtrooper, I love Sergeant Krell, I think he looks amazing, but... Why would you put in the extra mile for that figure and not put in the extra mile for a Sev or a Boss, which technically you could use that mold over and over again. Like off the top of my head, I can name quite a few like figures you could use this mold for. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. You could do all four of Delta Squad members, of course, so you could use a brand new mold for the Commando body. You could use Com uh, Captain Gregor from the Clone Wars. You could do a plain white Battlefront 2 clone commando in the gaming grade sign, but you could also do the two other styles for the commando armor, considering that they also have two gaming grade styles. You could do the Bad Batch version of Scorch. You could also do this, uh, I guess, Camino commando is what I want to call it, or Imperial commando, whatever you want to call it, but it's another version of the commando that we saw in Bad Batch. We could do Omega Squad. There's so many random commandos you could do that I think it would justify making a new torso mold. I, I I just don't get it. I don't understand why they refuse to make a new commando mold and keep reusing that hunter body. 
yet they go ahead and make a new Stormtrooper mold for this guy, which they're never going to use again. I, it, His armor is so unique that there's not really another Stormtrooper that you could use his armor for. So it, it just kind of it's mind-boggling to me. I don't I don't understand why they would make a new mold for him, but not for the Commandos. And again, I'm not bashing on Sergeant Krell at all, because I think that figure is absolutely incredible, but they should have put in that extra mile on the Commandos as well. And honestly, before this reveal for for uh, Sergeant Krell, I, I had found peace with the boss figure. At first, I... I didn't like how it was reusing the hunter body, but I was fine with it. Then I got the figure in hand, and I completely love the figure. And I still do love the figure, but I, I just assumed that, hey, if we didn't get this on the hunter body, we would never get this figure at all. But obviously that's not true, because if they're able to make a new mold for a Sergeant Krell, then there's no reason that they shouldn't be able to make a new mold for Boss, Sev, Fixer, Scorch, etc. So... That's just my two cents, my little rant for today. What do you guys think? They, do you guys think they should have made a new mold for Boss? And uh, yeah, because after after they revealed Sergeant Krell, I I believed that there was no way we would get the Republic Commandos. But after that reveal, obviously they could make a new mold for it. So it just kind of blows my mind that that they would do that. But like I said, that was just my little rant for today. Comment down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.